Hello, my name is Ty Cole from the EUR Web, and I'm so excited to be talking to Ms. Kira and Renato, okay? And Kanto was awesome. Oh, I thoroughly enjoyed the film. Now, my first question is for you, um, Kira. So, Encanto follows a young Colombian girl who faces frustration of being the only person in her family without magical powers. I mean, I would be upset too. Right. Now, has there, has there been a time when you felt powerless like Maribel? And what similarities do you share with her as you sought to find your power just like her? Oh, that's a great question. And yes, of course, I think as humans, we all have those moments, right? Um, you know, I, I have dreamed of wanting to be a, specifically a Disney animator since I was three years old. And so I am living the dream right now, but there right. were many points along my journey to the studio that I thought this is never going to happen. And uh, I was always interested in art, but I actually um, ended up going to school and doing computer science, which was very technical. And I did it because I thought I needed to learn the computer in order to do computer animation. And so I was trying to do it, but I ended up doing very, very technical work. And I remember a lot of like tearful, tearful nights about just thinking like, I don't know how I'm gonna get from here to there. And it's like, it felt like you needed to have a magical gift in order to get, get there. to your dream, you know? And, you know, both my, both my parents are super smart and, and accomplished and all of these things. And so it's, you just, you feel like you're, you're letting everybody down, you know? And, right. um, and, and so of course, you know, there are, there are moments when you look at people around you and you think that they have it all figured out. But the great thing about this movie and Mirabelle in particular is there's so much about perspective. And, you know, you look at the people around you and you might think that they have it all figured out and they have an easy go at things. But if you step back and if you take a look from their perspective, you might think, you might actually see that the thing that you think is so great in their life is either a burden or a stress. And sometimes it's great to also have perspective that there may be a really good reason for your situation in that moment. There might be a, a really important lesson that you're going to learn because of the the situation you find yourself in or the thing that you are without in this moment. And so right. it, should, it really gives you hope to kind of persevere through that and work through it. And at the end of the journey, hopefully you can look back and see the, the fruits of all the things that you've done to get there. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of enjoy that journey because there's, there's purpose in it. Love that. Now, Renato, so films like Encanto are important, especially in today's time, because there are so many people within the Hispanic slash Latinx community who've gone under, underrepresented. What was your goal with Encanto in terms of representation and how will you continue to push for diversity? Well, Encanto for me was an amazing opportunity to actually, uh, I'm, I, I am from South America, you know, I, I was born and raised in Brazil and, and seeing people with my skin color on the screen, it's absolutely amazing and a pleasure. And I, and I just really need, you know, uh, uh, at the beginning of this productions, you know, uh, uh, when I think when we were wrapping uh, the work on Frozen, you know, the directors were kind of going around telling about the projects that they are developing. And uh, when I heard about Encanto, I was like, oh my God, I have to work on this movie. I right. care how I need to work on this movie so much, you know? So so being here, it's been uh, an honor and a privilege and, and, and seeing the amount of work that every individual in this movie put on to make sure, uh, you know, the movie was done right, the movie was done in a way that represents people properly. Uh, it, there was so much time and effort put on that, you know, from, from our consultants, you know, that were working with every team on a daily basis, looking at, you know, cloth, uh, you know, hair, hair, uh, skin. Texture. And every little intricate piece of detail, correct. Everything, everything, you know, those people looking at everything, making sure uh, the, this movie came out as, 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 as perfect as it could be. So uh, it That's was, it, yeah, it was just an absolutely pleasure to, pleasure to be part of it. Yeah. Love that. Kira, now inclusivity seems like a buzzword in today's society. How will you as the co-head of animation continue to push for diversity and inclusion? And how do you think Encanto pushes for that? 
You know, I think it's one of those things where it's so important to have everybody feel like they can see themselves on screen and, and, and relate to the characters that are in our stories. And, you know, sometimes it's in that the specificity of, you know, we got to dive into the Colombian culture and really we got to, with our consultants, we had to be really personal with them because we mm. were asking them about what's your family like? Did you have any family members that you had like that you didn't talk about? Like we, because yeah. <laughs> we're looking at the that the character and like what their personalities are, and so we're not just asking them about like, well, what's Colombian architecture like? We absolutely did those things too, but for us as animators, we were like, can you tell us about your family secrets? Can you tell yeah, us about know. what that feels like? Because in that authenticity and in that specificity, even if it's a different culture and like, I'm not Colombian, I haven't been to South America, you know, but in finding those, those very specific and authentic and true moments, there's all of that universality where it's like, I, amazingly, I'm an only child. I don't have a big extended family. And yet I see myself and my family members in each of these characters. And so I think the more truthful that we can be, the more inclusive it is as well, because people will be able to see themselves on the screen. On the screen.